This video is sponsored by iFixit. In this box, I have my first broken PS5 sent to me by a viewer. So let's get it unboxed and see what's wrong. Come on, all the way. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now let's turn it on and see what's going on with it. So it looks like everything starts up normally. The viewer who sent this in, his name is Alejandro. They said that the disk drive isn't working, so let's put a disk in and see what it does. Oh. Okay, hopefully that noise came through on camera, but it definitely made some funny noises and won't even take the disc in. So next I'm gonna get it turned off, get the top and bottom plates off, and let's have a look at that disc drive. This top cover comes off by lifting where this PS symbol is and pushing that way. There we go. Then we flip it right over, the disc drive is over here. We lift on this side and push that way. So easy enough so far. I can already see that the manual eject screw has been used. This sticker is usually over this area right here. Don't really need it over this, but it helps keep dust and stuff out. So next we need to get this black piece off so we can get down to the disc drive so we can remove the disc drive. I'm guessing there may be some stuck gears or something in there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. As I do with pretty much all of these repairs, I'm gonna be using an iFixit ProTech toolkit. It's got pretty much everything I need for any of the work that I do. As you can see, I've already got the driver and a bunch of the bits just laying out here on my repair bench because I use them all the time. I highly recommend iFixit tools as the tools are very high quality. They come with a great warranty and the people that work at iFixit are the best. And now that that black piece is off, we can get down to the fun part. The first thing we need to do is remove this outer metal piece so we can get down to the internals of the drive. Now that those screws are removed, we can remove these four. Next, we can remove all the ribbon cables so we can flip this over. Now I have these ribbon cables removed, then I'll remove these two black screws and pull up this board so I can disconnect this ribbon cable as well. And now we have a little better look at the inside of the drive. I already see this piece is kind of broken. These rollers are all chewed up. I'm gonna remove these two screws so we can get this bottom plate off and just have a whole look at the entire plate. So one problem I see right away is we've got a gear that's broken right here. Also on this top plate, this magnet is just constantly up. I think that should be down. So I think this actually goes on the bottom side here. Let's uh, see if we can get it up there. I think that might be right. Yeah, there we go. So that was one major problem. This arm was on top of this spindle, which it definitely shouldn't have been. But is that the only problem? Other than that broken gear right here, I don't really see any other major issues with this, but I do need to spin these gears around and just make sure they're all working right. And then I'm gonna give these rollers a good cleaning. So cleaning these rollers is just gonna help restore a little bit of the stickiness they have in them. Not a lot, but a little bit. Cause you can see there's all this little debris from these things spinning and spinning, trying to get a disc in that kind of chews them up and creates um, kind of like plastic dust in here. So I'm gonna clean that all off just so this will work nicely once we get it all together. Now I did mention this gear. I don't think it'll be too big of an issue since it's just one gear. I would replace this gear, except for there are no parts available for these things. So I'm just gonna try it like this and see what happens. Now that I have these rollers clean, I'm gonna get this metal plate back on. Then we can put it all back in and see if that happened to fix it. And just when I think I'm ready to test this, I found another problem. This little arm right here 
has a pretty deep groove right here and that's right where it rides on this round piece. Let me show you the problem with that. So when the disc comes out, this piece is gonna engage with that round piece. This round piece needs to slide all the way up this little, little tab right here. But it gets stuck right there because of that groove. So what I'm gonna do is try and clean up that groove and see if we can make it so that will slide right up on this round piece again. It's pretty tough to see on camera, but it's right there and it's a pretty deep groove. So let's see if we can fix that. I'm gonna be using this iFixit Technician's razor set. And I'm just gonna try and go along here and scrape some of that plastic away. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how it's supposed to work. I'm actually gonna smooth it out just a little bit more just to make sure that's gonna be reliable. And then I think it'll be time to put this thing back in and test it. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna get this back in the console and try it out. Let's see if it tastes the disc. And it does not. Doesn't even make a noise like it wants to. All right, now time to take it back apart and see why it won't even take it in now. It's kind of hard to see, but that little connector with the red and black wires, I actually left that unplugged. Boneheaded mistake. But now that this plugged in, let's see if it'll work. Okay, so I have it together enough to test. Let's test it and see if it's gonna work. Oh yeah, it definitely pulls it in. Now it's got a buzzing noise as it's going in, which I've heard a lot of complaints about. So I wanna investigate that and see what exactly is going on and what's causing it. So here's an up close view. And there's the noise. Yes, the disc is upside down because the PS5 is upside down. So now I'm gonna get this disc drive torn back apart and let's see what's going on and causing that buzzing noise. Okay, and here we go again. I'm guessing the noise is gonna come from this area over here, but let's find out. Definitely from right over here. I'm gonna take a look at those gears one more time and just see if I can figure anything else out. So after taking a look at these gears, I don't see any defects that would be making a bunch of noise here. There is this one gear that's broken off, but I don't think just that one gear would make all that noise. So I'm gonna actually try lubricating this gear train and just see if that helps that noise. So this is actually precision instrument oil, which is not ideal for this application, but it's all I have right now. So that's what I'm gonna use. A grease would be a much better solution, like a thin grease. And also I don't wanna to do too much on here because I don't want this stuff getting all throughout this entire drive. If you put too much on, it'll end up on the laser and that would make the laser not work. So just put a little bit on. Now I'm gonna put it back together and then we'll see if it works. If it quiets the gears, great. If not, I'm still gonna call it good. Okay, now let's see if it works and see how loud it is. Definitely still loud. Let's make sure it works, it's spinning up. And here we go, it's ready to start installing and there's no major vibrations. So this PS5 is fixed. If you like this video, I think you'll like my other PS5 videos. I'll put a playlist up on your screen so you can come hang out with me over on those videos. Thank you to Alejandro for sending this PS5 in. Thank you to iFixit for sponsoring the video. Thank you for watching it and I hope you have a good one.